Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and how the news in details. Date for second lockdown of all worship center. All Christians and Muslims should take note of this. It is known that earlier this month of June, President Muhammad Buhari approved religious gatherings and functioning of financial institutions. But schools were not ordered to reopen as interstate ban was not lifted as well. As the relaxation of the ban on worship center was approved, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control NCDC decided to come up with safety guidelines that would curtail the spread of COVID-19 in worship center. The agency developed about six guidelines that all Christians and Muslims had to take note of, which include there should be no entry without face mask. All attendees and religious leaders must wear a face mask. People who are sick should not go to place of worship. There should be temperature screening on entry. Hand washing facilities and hand sanitizers should be provided at point of entries and strategic points. Attendance at religious settings should not exceed quarter of sitting capacity. Religious centers should be clearly marked such that people sit and maintain two meters distance from each other. There should be no form of direct contact. Practices such as handshake as peace signs are discouraged. Practices that require sharing of materials should be limited. For example, ablutions should be performed at home. Religious centers should be disinfected routinely before and after worship. However, it is displeasing that many worship centers were unable to abide by these guidelines. Recently, Boss Mustafa's secretary to the government of the Federation, SGF, has stressed that the way Nigerians are romancing the virus was indications of dangers in the nearest future. According to Mustafa, this is the time to lock down if it were within my power. This is the time to lock down because I can see the hacktitude of people romancing the COVID-19. The daily increase in confirmed cases, the federal government feels a sense of frustration because we can see glaringly the dangers ahead and you can see the level of recklessness on the part of people who should know better. This serves as an indication that the Nigerian government has entered on ordering another lockdown across the country. It could be recalled that earlier this month, Boss Mustafa, secretary to the government of the Federation and chairman of the PTF, announced that President Muhammad Buhari had approved the relaxation of the ban on worship centers for four weeks, spanning 2nd to 29th June 2020. In other words, worship centers were reopened within this mm -hmm. month. This entails that the date of the second lockdown of worship centers might be on 30th June, that is, after June 29. All Christians and Muslims should note that, as the month of June is coming to an end, they should be more prayerful at this time for God to intervene in the present plight of the country. So guys, what is your own take about this? What do you think about the, the new uh, guidelines from NSNDC? You know, my question for Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19 is that among the people that have tested positive of pandemic, how many of them are from church and how many of them are from mosque? Or oh, the source is from worship center. Because with the look of things that they feel that uh, uh, the most affected places is church and mosque. Fine. People gather together is a very risky environment. But at the same time, even before they said they want to open the church, the church has been on the safer side. Trust me. And at the same time, if the government wants to go on locking down worship centers, the same should be applicable to every other faces and sectors across, across the country. It should be applicable to everywhere because it will be injustice to lock down worship centers and open markets and open banks, airports, schools, conducting elections and other sectors of the country. It will be purely unfair. So let's hear what people are saying about it. You know, Nigerians are saying that let Boss Mustafa and NCDC chairman lock down their own families. They should leave us alone. 
when do they start to be caring for we Nigerians, if not because of huge fronts involved? People are dying of hunger every day, businesses closing down every day, graduates are losing their jobs every day, insecurity everywhere. These people didn't find lasting solutions to all this. Is COVID-19 the only challenges we are facing in the country? He said, please and please leave us alone. The thing is that, the, the, the main thing that I want us to realize that is that the secret of this lockdown will very soon as possible be revealed itself one day. Because it is not ordinary. It is not ordinary. Because that is what I'm thinking like there is more to it. Maybe definitely they are using it to get money from other places, from other parastatas. Maybe that is the reason why they are just threatening Nigerians about lockdown today, lockdown tomorrow. May God help us. You know, people are saying that APC hey, government, you people promise Nigerian citizens for change, but they don't but don't you people tell us the type of change you are talking about? Don't you allow people voted for this type of change? Now education system has changed because as things are going on, first time is going to start by January, not September again. That is the change. Some landlords are going to quit many tenants. That is also a change. Some civil servants, servants who are working with private companies may lose their jobs. That is also a big change. We have Boko Haram before, and you introduce another one, headsmen, bandits, Fulani kidnappers. That is another, another a very serious change. Remember that what is killing people today is not coronavirus, but malaria and typhoid, and even poverty, high blood pressures, asthma. But doctors is afraid to receive them and give them better dress, treatment like before. Anybody with asthma and blood pressures cannot breathe well, just as you people said that coronavirus patients cannot breathe well. And people are dying with it because government give instructions that private hospitals should stay clear. That is the problem that we are facing right now. But may God help us from this, our present government. It is only God that can help us from there. A lot of things is wrong in the country. It is not only COVID-19 that we are experiencing in the country. There are so many things that is definitely affecting our Nigerian government. Be it the, the, be it the hoeing of salaries to the retirees, be it even uh, the young ones not getting good job, be it the insecurity problem. You know, a lot of things that needs to be really, really focused on. I'm telling you the truth. You know, people are saying that in the meeting after meeting, can that NCDC director stand before the world and proclaim the existence of coronavirus in Nigeria? Can he stand before the foreign scientist to prove the totality and standard of the diagnostic kits used in Nigeria to detect such virus? You cannot close the spread of the gospel, no matter how hard you may hit the church. The church of God must go forward. The church of God must move forward. There is nothing they can do about it. There's nothing they can do about it because this government, they are just being sentimental. They're just being sentimental about everything that is going on in the country right now. But they need to come back to their senses too. You know, you know, Nigerians were saying that I was at the church service last Sunday for the first time since COVID-19 lockdown. If what I saw of the congregant that day is anything to go by, there may be need to lock down once more. Most worshippers wore just chain mask and not face mask. It got to a point that I had to challenge a woman with chain mask who was almost hugging my wife irrespective of needed physical distances. This led to a minor disaffection as the woman started claiming that no virus would attack a number in the church. You know, that is the thing. Some people are saying that this virus is still not real. Why some people believe that this virus is real? I wish Nigerians should take to precautions and follow the normal procedures in order to protect their fellow human being. 
so guys what do you think what is your own take about this your comment is highly appreciated and kindly drop your comments at the comment section below for those who subscribe we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing we'll say god bless you if you're yet to do so kind, kindly press the subscription button below and also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime any day thank you so much for this great time Happy Sunday and have a wonderful day. Bye.